When I heard that Subaru was sending us a WRX for review, I was happy. Then I found out it wasn't an STI, and I was sad. <laughs> then the vehicle arrived, and I saw these, <laughs> and I was happy again. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2020 Subaru WRX Series White. New for 2020 and limited in production for 500 WRX and 500 WRX STIs is an optional performance package called Series White. Spelt with a period, this particular package adds both aesthetic and mechanical features to the car, but we'll get to those in a second. Brightening our day is this 2020 Ceramic White Subaru WRX Series White. Standard features include LED daytime running lights, rear spoiler, heated exterior mirrors, quad exhaust outlets, and symmetrical all-wheel drive with active torque vectoring. Inside, you'll find a leather-wrapped steering wheel, automatic climate control with air filtration system, six-speed manual transmission, seven-inch Starlink multimedia audio system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, Starlink smartphone connectivity and apps, dual USB ports, four-month subscription to Sirius XM radio, multifunction display, rear camera, cruise control, tilt telescopic steering column, 12 volt power outlet, power door locks and dual power mirrors, remote keyless entry system, auto up down front driver and passenger windows, heated front seats, carpeted floor mats, and 60-40 split fold down rear seat back. Safety features include vehicle dynamics control, the Subaru advanced frontal airbag system, side curtain airbags, driver's side knee airbag, and front seat side impact airbags, as well as an anti-theft immobilizer system. Not bad, but now it's time for the good stuff. The optional series white package takes away your moonroof, but adds the Brembo performance braking system, sport tuned suspension with Bilstein dampers, and eight-way power ultra suede trimmed Recaro front seats. There's a gloss black instrument panel trim, as well as keyless access with push button start. The exterior badging, mirror caps, and shark fin antenna are finished in black, and the 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels are finished in bronze. LED steering responsive headlights and LED fog lights are present too. Wrap things up with the body side molding and bumper applique, and you get a total MSRP of $35,259. With the exception of those fog lights and a smaller rear wing, this WRX looks very similar to an STI. The Sport Tune Bilstein dampers are inverted, the front and rear red Brembo calipers are 4 and 2 pistons respectively, and the wheels are wrapped in 245 40 Series Dunlop Sport Max Summer Performance tires. The trunk has a total of 12 cubic feet of space, and you can fold the 60 40 split rear seats down for even more. The Series White uses the standard 2.0-liter turbocharged and intercooled 4-cylinder boxer engine from the WRX that makes 268 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. Max boost pressure is 15.9 PSI, and it's all directed via 6-speed manual to all four wheels. Even with a 42-horsepower deficit to the STI, the WRX is reportedly quicker with a 0-60 to 60 time of 5.6 seconds. Things do flip-flop as the road continues, though. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 21 miles per gallon city, 27 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 23 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw an impressive 29.1 miles per gallon during testing on premium fuel. Even though this WRX is based upon the Impreza, there's plenty of room back here, with only the center hump getting in the way. 
the seats have a comfortable recline to them, the door panels are finished off well, and there are plenty of cup holders too. I'm not mad at what Subaru's done up front either. Is it fancy? No, but it gets the job done. The steering wheel feels good, and so do these seats. They're supportive the way you'd expect Recaro's to be, yet comfy too. In fact, the only gripe I have is that I need to have the seat close to fully engage the clutch, which then leaves the armrest and heated seat controls pretty far back. And in case you're wondering, I'm of average height. <laughs> so now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. It's been a few years, but from what I can remember, Subaru's high-performance STI can be a bit much for some people. And sometimes you want a fun, entertaining car that doesn't sacrifice everyday usability. You know, decent comfort, space, and fuel economy. And that's what the WRX is. The suspension is sporty without knocking your fillings out, and the brakes have a wonderfully firm pedal feel. Steering response is good, and the all-wheel drive makes you feel as though you have never-ending grip, even on these slightly damp roads. Even though the exhaust isn't very loud, I get a kick out of the sound that these boxer engines make. And in a world populated with sub six second V6 Camrys, <laughs> power's good. It's not fast, but it's good. And I'm okay with that. There's a bit of turbo lag and not a lot of torque, but if you keep the revs up, you'll be fine. Plus, the six speed manual is just notchy enough and the clutch engagement feels good. The cabin does get a bit noisy at higher speeds, but the car is stable and is engaging to drive. At the end of the day, the lower price of entry and the higher performance that was added to this WRX Series White brings it that much closer to the STI, arguably making this the better buy. Crazy, right? So there you have it guys, the 2020 Subaru WRX Series White. Cars like this Series White prove that your daily driver doesn't have to be boring. Not to mention, it's affordable too, and that makes me happy. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what your daily driver is in the comments section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.